Hi guys, my name is Ayushman and today I'm going to be giving a tour of the Iroquois National Museum I built in Minecraft. It's not a real structure in real life, but I built it as a memorandum to the Iroquois Confederacy and for a history project. So, let's start the tour. So first off, you walk across this road, you have this um, picnic area I set aside, and then you walk in and there's a signboard. Um, it says, New Houses and More, Tools Exhibition, Monday to Friday, 12 to 3 p.m. Open Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Saturday, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Sundays closed. National Iroquois Museum, made by me. Okay, so you walk in through this entrance. You're greeted by a Native American chief that I you made. And so you walk in and there's this signboard. But first there's a fountain. And then there's a signboard. It says, Welcome to the National Airplane Museum. A few things to read before you get started. The Airplane were a confederacy of five tribes. The Mohawk, Naira, Onondaga, Cayuga, and Seneca. All these tribes are true believers in animism. Animism, animists believe in the Great Spirit. He takes care of everyone. Originally, they were called the Hodenosaunee. The French came and changed it to something easy to pronounce. They ate meat and fish, but they mostly relied on three sisters, the corn, beans, and squash. They lived in long houses or plain houses, made of wood. They used patterns of beads called wampum to tell stories. They were made into belts, and the Confederacy came to an end during 1693 to 1696. Um, it started more than 10,000 BC ago, and they came across a land bridge across the Bering Strait from Alaska to Asia. So that's how they migrated here. Traditional Iroquois um, family in a longhouse. Very crowded. Lots of interactions going on with this group. They're all talking to each other. And these are the three sisters. It says please, please do not trample on them. Corn, beans, and squash. And here I've made a makeup longhouse. And it, it is supposed to be very, very long. But I have to make it shorter to save space and time. Longhouses were houses for up to 20 families. Sometimes the occupants collaborated, sometimes not. They ate together and slept together. They married too. The longhouse was sometimes divided into parts. The campfires lit up the place. Torches too. Bunks were a must to fit everyone in. The windows, um, torches, and campfires. This was like a normal meal of meat, fish, and three sisters. Um, these are the bunks. Another person with all of these other guys here. You can walk out the door. And then, this is the exit, but you don't go out the exit. You go through here. You have to. So basically, this is the tools exhibit. The shovel. Used to dig through, used to dig through dirt. Possibly farm. Pickaxe used to get stones using tools. Axe, essential in life for wood, which is used for a lot. Ho used to prepare soil for farming three sisters. Sword used to hunt animals on land and hunter. And of course the spear used to spear fishing and throwing. All those are the um, essential tools in any um, Native American tribe and village. And so I've made a lot of interactive things so visitors can do a lot. First I have this archery course. Test your luck at archery, you'll get 10 arrows. Shoot the button and it will light up. If you get them all, good prize. Will you succeed or will you fail? Get what you need here. So this is like an archery course. I want to demonstrate it because you probably know what's going to happen. I have made this um, exhibition of huge tools um, to see, so you can see how it was built. I made it using wood blocks and this is stone so and I encased it in some glass so over here 
you have you can fish you can hello wanna fish grab a rod in the chest and catch them all Iroquois used to do spear fishing a type of savagery fish must be released back into the water so here you can fish and over there is the food court the food court has um two attendees a tv and all the food items and through here if you go we have a stable with horses anybody wants they can get the trainer and use these horses and race around the track you must not let them out you can get some carrots to tame them jump them out of the pan and don't let them get out carrots are here these are the stands in case anybody's watching and over here, we're leaving the tools and weapons and everything exhibit onto the farming and religion exhibit. I've made a typical farm for the Iroquois. Um, the um, farm was divided into rows, which was filled with different types of crops for each row. I have sugarcane, melons, pumpkins, corns, um, wheat, squash, all types of things. Over here, I've built what would be a traditional type of wampum, which I mentioned earlier is a type of belt made using um, shells and beads and all that kind of stuff. And so this is one of the most common ones. And so since the wampum was used as a type of writing, they had no writing system. This was like a drawing kind of writing system. And so this represented the unity of all the five tribes. The two, um, the four, four squares at the, the, the side, and the great tree of peace in the middle. Over here, I have the great spirit. Great spirit. All your coins believed in the great spirit. Nobody ever questioned him. He was their god. And he was also, um, to, um, a fact about him is that he, um, people um, thought they could communicate to him by using these people known as healers and medicine men. And so when people fell sick, they thought the healers and medicine men could communicate to him and get the well-being. So here I have this dense forest of, what the, of where they used to live. So the Iroquois lived in densely wooded forests like these, and here I have a campfire to light the place up. Over here, there's not really much of anything, so thank you for watching, and this is the whole museum. Hope you enjoyed. Bye, guys.